Hi everybody, I'm Scotty McKeever from Equine Edge and I'm gonna help you with the GSR, Genetic Strength Rating. So let's get to it. So what the GSR is, it's our proprietary genetic strength rating. It's a metric that rates how a horse will run on the current surface and distance based on how well its relatives have performed. All right, it goes back two generations is what it does. So let's take a look at, at an example here at Saratoga. In race number two, this was about a week ago on August 5th. And you can see here the six horse does win, top, top win percentage, 47%, but it was a big favorite, top Scotty pick. But what you're gonna see is right here, the numbers from one to 100, 100 being best. And you can see on the sire side, it gives a genetic strength rating for the sire and the dam. And you can see on the sire, a 63, the dam's a 48. On the four horse, a 60 and a 34 on the dam. Now, they, these two horses ended up coming in first and second, and they just happen to be the tops on the sire side. So that's what that is. Now, we've noticed that on the, on the dam side, look for the turf races. There's something about these turf races that the dam's genetic strength rating is so good. So watch for that as well. Where the GSR doesn't apply, with a horse that has a lot of races, so let's take a look at a race, I'll try to find one here, where there's multiple races for experienced horses. This could be an example here in race number six at Saratoga, where you can see each horse has run nine furlongs a lifetime, 10, 10 here for the one horse, Twisted Tom, seven for the, for the two horse, Hit Once More. You can see here, so, the genetic strength rating doesn't really apply here because these horses have already proven themselves. So you know what you're getting with those horses. So, but look for the GSR with maidens, horses that haven't run a lot, first time starters. You can use that GSR in combination with the win percentage and that will be a big helpful tool for you, especially in situations where you just don't know how a horse is gonna do at this current surface and distance. I hope that helps.